Obvious cheater fakes blindfolded Super Mario 64 speedrun. I love cheating. I love this kind of shit. Let's see. I have not heard of this before. Despite the immense popularity of Super Jesus, Mario what is that? A fucking soiled diaper on his face? A small amount of people running the blindfolded categories. A testament to how difficult. Or like a heating pad? Really is. I have here a video of one of these runs, and I aim to show some of the clear discrepancies between this run and the genuine blindfolded runs of SM64 that are out there. The best time on a run he has currently submitted is in 1826. Ew. Mid-level time for 16 star. Pathetic. That actually put me off when I was watching this, or punching. I honestly thought this guy was the cheater because this thing looks so over the top. Straight up, just looked like it looks like Among Us. Like this shit is crazy. I thought that this was some kind of elaborate scam. But I'm guessing this is a legitimate runner. I- I- what is- what is he wearing? Can tell- like, it's not a blindfold. This is like a whole goddamn, like, face sauna thing. Some, like, actual Daft Punk shit. It's a... towel? How- how's that a towel? It's like karate safety gear that Spongebob wore. Hats off to him, though. Like, this, it, it looks fucking crazy. Like, this is hardcore. Looking at a legitimate example by Bubsyf, you can see that a consistent setup with clear intention is being used in order to get onto the Chain Chomps poll. Note the use of a notch down. Turns out everyone's camera, cheating. To guarantee They're all just trying to, to pretend the, the best they can. Comparatively, this runner seemed to have absolutely no normalized setup whatsoever. He takes what looks like either an intentional death or a legitimate mistake, and then tries again a second time. This time around, he seems to be using an almost completely different, yet still unnormalized setup to get onto the pole. With how much focus and skill are required to complete a blindfolded run, it's an anomaly that this runner with barely any practice is so casually able to do a strat that no other blindfolded runner has attempted. Well, he's and just the god gamer. no normalized strats, he seems to do everything with some relative ease. In the next star, he goes for the traditional cannon setup some that some random normally guy. see in most sighted runs. Once again, looking at a blindfolded version of this strap, there is a clear intention with every input using normalized movements and guaranteed setups. Looking back God, at the blindfolded run, however, run is crazy. Across the falling bridge and over to the piranha plant is extremely wobbly and very inconsistent. He then lines up next to the plank using these extremely small adjustments that have no audio cues whatsoever. Anyone that runs this game or has even tried this trick before knows that it's Yeah, this is super fake. Oh my god. Way anyone could do it he didn't even try. The movement used here would be if they weren't actually blindfolded at all and were instead using a distinctly visual cue. Here, only a true gamer such as this man would be able to somehow sidestep this Goomba, quickly make his way up the path, and then do this long jump to the next red all completely blindfolded and with absolutely no setup necessary. Simply amazing. What was the point though? Like... Surely he didn't think that. He then pushes the Goomba that he claims he heard, even though there is no. He smelt it. Distance that precise with sound cues. No, no, no. He, he's got a super sniffer. He's like Scooby Doo. Faster and safer to just keep walking forward anyway. There's no way he'd think that he'd fool the whole community that actively runs this game though, blindfolded. Anyone who is actually blindfolded here would have almost certainly What's the kept point? holding right with no adjustment. Moving on to basement, we see another series of extremely suspicious and inconsistent setups. In Shifting Sandland, he is somehow able to get the Talon Star using a strategy only viable for visual runs. The Until amount of now. needed to long jump to the Fly Guy and twirl over to Klepto is simply <clears throat> too precise to be done consistently in a blindfolded run. More like to be done at all. He's able to do it first try with no issues. The last half of this run is so blatantly fake that it makes the previous 20 minutes well, you, look Price. completely legit by comparison. And... Yes! <laughs> Oh, come on, let's go. Yeah, let's In fucking go! In my opinion, there is absolutely no way he can know how close or far away he is from the door because he is using literally no sound. No, he's, he's... The exact same is true He's smelling the game, the baby. Once again, with absolutely no discernible audio cues and no real setup whatsoever, he somehow either knows exactly where he is on the door or just gets lucky enough to clip through it after randomly guessing. He spends around 30 seconds here walking back and forth along the door and somehow is able to find the exact right spot to make it through. Somehow it still gets worse after this. At this point, I'm I'm actually convinced that he's doing it for real. That he is blindfolded. Look like. it really I think I'm just like seeing an ultimate gamer. To sell the illusion any further. I slid off something. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, am I at the submarine? Yes, okay. The fact that he even says this is strange to me. There's literally nothing else in this Overacting a little bit. Besides the sub. 
So it doesn't Fuck, am I playing sense Super Mario? He had to figure out what he was Jeez, okay, well, this is good. This is good he for us. To make it look like he had, despite this, he is somehow able to oh. back around at the perfect angle and lands back on the fin. It's his gamer again, senses. Absolutely zero sound cues or any setup. Nothing suspicious to see here. And then there's Fire Sea. Well, this has always just been an easy level, though. I could do this blindfold, and I haven't played this game in eight right. years now. So after some it's more easy. fake strats and fire seeds, That's some pussy one shit. fake Bowser throw set up, he then commits what is possibly the most obvious and completely shameless move in the entire run. I don't, I don't know how he tops some of the other shit, to be honest. Fuck, I didn't get that extra life. I was laughing my ass off when I first saw this. Not only does he somehow know exactly what a man, what boxes, but he also knows exactly what direction the one-up will go and once it spawns. Something completely determined by RNG. Then, after chasing it on a moving platform for a completely arbitrary amount of time, I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Exactly when and where to jump to the left. You don't even need to know anything about Super Mario 64 or blindfolded speedrunning to understand that what just happened is completely bullshit. Immediately after skipping the first one up, he messes around on the first rotating elevator, grabbing the next one up in the process. Yes, okay. All clearly. His acting's not even life. good though. Like, why not After really this, sell it? He once again makes an intentional mistake. Like, oh my fucking god, it's an extra life! We go wild. Following this, he traverses the wooden platforms and tries to go for yet another one up. <laughs> This man's addicted to one-ups. He clearly saw this one-up with his eyes, but then remembered he was supposed to be blindfolded. So he passes it off by <laughs> acting like he knew there should be a one-up there, and goes back to grab it. Again, no setup whatsoever. There should be, like, some bomb bombs up? Yes, okay. This is absolutely pointless, as he had already just verified where he was. All he had to do here was hold forward, and he would have reached the next wall. At this point, he once again reiterates the fact that this is only his third blindfolded run ever. Wow, he's a prodigy. This is your second blindfolded run, isn't it? Uh, technically this is my third. And to be fair, the first one I did was like, while he can see, it is still blindfolded. There is a blindfold there. But this guy doesn't do that. He instead goes for a re-grab and gets it. Again, with no setup and no sound cues. He hits the throw on his second try, Woo! again using the normal visual- This man's a hero! Let's go! During his second throw, he stops and talks for about 30 Maybe seconds- Maybe he's like the daredevil. First learned to speed run he, like, he's like a superhuman who, who can do things blind. The viewer is asking. And I, I, well, during streams, I would, I would like, because I knew before I did my first blind run- blind Holy run fuck, run, James, you're good at blindfolded. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. No. Just like I guarantee he bought some shungite. Or just look, is because I'm trying to time it based on like where my thumb is. Oh. On the controller. No, now it makes sense. Because that's typically like a right, right around where Mario is. Like right. The that he's gonna throw. So. I Usually. Need to be like, if I think the bomb is where I think it is, if, if the bomb is where mm -hmm. I think it is, and I'm looking at it, then. Then we're golden. Obviously, none of then we're in. Sense in the first place, but he is directly were you listening to the explanation? Here he, he feels the chakra vibrations in the air. on the stick to know where Bowser is, which already makes no sense on its own. Except he also mentioned in his first Bowser throw that he was using sound cues. Maybe he's only pretending to be blindfolded so he can hide the fact that he sucks at Bowser throws. Oh, let's not. Okay, let's not get personal here. Okay, okay? come on now. Let's let's be professional about this. He eventually does land the last throw, luckily avoiding all the fire. Unbelievable. Barely avoiding. Besmirching this good man's name. Pure skill and game sense. So would you be opposed to doing Bowser in the sky and throws while turned around with a blanket over my head? Yeah, that's reasonable. Say yes. Fifty dollars. If I do it turned around with a blanket over my head. I'll give you five hundred. Start a bidding war. Don't cry. Say yes. Yeah. Let's get hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Fuck. Despite the glaring flaws in this person's gameplay, he has somehow been able to convince all but a few of his viewers that his blindfolded runs are legit. Messages in his Twitch and Facebook gaming chats show that most of the people watching him are completely convinced that what they're seeing is real. 
The best I can possibly assume in this situation is that he may actually be doing some of these parts at least partially blindfolded, only peeking through the blindfold whenever he's completely lost or doesn't know what to do. It's either that or the blindfold is just completely see-through, and his only goal during the run is to make it look like he can't actually see. I think that's exactly I what it is. I thought it's, this run was a joke, but it's... It, so, before we get to the conclusion and his apology, I am, I am going to speculate he can see the whole time and just does his best to act like it's blindfolded, but he, he doesn't know like how to ride that line. So he's either extremely overacting or underacting. It's, ni it's never like good acting. It's just a poor performance all around. I was in the Hunger Games. I don't like to bring that up too often. But I, with my acting expertise, I can always pick apart acting, whether it's good or bad. So I just, I just have, to, I have to make that clear. And his explanation of Bowser with his thumb on the control stick correlating to where Mario is in the, the Nether Realm, the Shadow Realm, whatever. There's some real merit to that, though, I think. I want to give a big shout out to both Katoon and Bubsia for their incredible help on this video. They helped to clarify a lot of questions I had about Blindfolded Mario 64, and this video would not have been as comprehensive without their inputs. Thanks also thanks to crazy both them Catherine. and Nabori for allowing me to use their footage for comparisons. I've left links Holy to all their Holy shit, did you see that? There was like 15 blindfolds on him. Also thanks to both them and Nabori for It was a towel, to a blindfold, a blindfold. I've left links to all of their streams all together. and channels in the description. Please check all three of them out if you Holy want to see some legitimate blindfolded runs of Mario. I kind of want to learn Super Mario speedrunning, to be honest. I tried when back in 2012 watching Siglimic. It's hard, but it looks so fun. That was a great video. So you said the guy apologized. Okay, so I'm guessing it's this one. That is the... I, I don't want to just keep pausing it, but a PSA to anyone. Never start an apology video like that. That is the most cliche shit ever. I'm surprised he doesn't have a dog on his lap. Rough. The sigh. If he follows it up by saying, I didn't want to have to make this video, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Now, what you may not know is that that speedrun was purposely fake. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. At all similar to other blindfolded speedruns. I've watched blindfolded speedruns, um, and they're very impressive. They're very impressive. They are. They are very impressive. And I never once wanted to take away anything from those individuals that do do those runs. I have the utmost respect for them. Those runs are very impressive. At this point, I've never, like... You should double down and be like, those runs fucking suck compared to mine. I myself am a speedrunner, but I have no legitimate interest in uh, going that route with my speedruns. I know the video paints me in a very specific light, and I'm not a bad person. I'm not, like, a mean-spirited person. It didn't I'm make any of those claims. Person. Spiteful. And I don't do things maliciously. What? It's not just... It's not who I am. Uh, this was just good fun. This was just jokes. I had fun. My downfall. I did enjoy it. Is and others have understood where I'm coming from, and while some of them might say, "Ah, man," you know, it's that's still uh, that's still rough, but uh, that he doesn't even cry. Um, but again, are you gonna make an apology video and not cry? Like I am. I didn't. All right. I think what he should have done, like if I was his PR manager, I think he should have come into this apology really combative. He should have come in here and be like, anyone who thinks I cheated, I challenge you to fucking wrestle me in the Thunderdome. I, I've rented out the local octagon and if you think I cheated, you can come fucking fight me. Like he should have just come in here really aggressive and just denied the fuck out of it.